This afternoon, in not so pleasant news, Ghana has confirmed its first case of the MPOX virus. It follows nearly two months of heightened surveillance after an earlier report by the Africa Center for Disease Surveillance suggested four cases had already been recorded. MPOX, which used to be called monkeypox, is an infectious viral disease that can occur in humans and other animals. It can cause a painful rash, enlarged lymph nodes, and fever. Most people fully recover, but some get very sick, and it's been a concern on the African continent for quite a while. Now, according to the Ghana Health Service, 230 suspected cases are also being investigated across all the 16 regions of the country with contact tracing and surveillance teams fast at work. Let's run you by what we know this afternoon based off on the case that has been confirmed and the 230 uh, additional suspected cases. And so there it is on your screen, uh, 230 suspected cases in all the 16 regions of the country. The Greater Accra leads with 87 of the suspected cases with one confirmed case. A bit more details for you in relation to that confirmed case and what the Ghana Health Service has been telling us. It was reported at a hospital in September with three-day history of fever, general body pains, sore throat and a rash which was initially in the palm and face but spread to the trunk and some extreme now, there's been no history of travel in relation to this patient over the past 21 days or a history of sexual exposure to a potentially infectious person. The case was initially admitted but has been later or subsequently discharged and is currently stable at home. What's been the response from the Ghana Health Service? There's been an activation of district, regional and national public health emergency coordination structures. That's one. Uh, also, uh, they've been identifying gaps in relation to dealing with this particular outbreak and one has to do with limited funding. That rests its head in every challenge in this country. Limited funding to support sustained lab testing and outbreak investigations. Also, limited funding to support sample transportation, especially from hard to reach areas such as the affected district and the need for social support for suspected or confirmed cases who need community isolation. And so that's the latest from the quarters of the Ghana Health Service in relation to what we know. And we know that MPOX can be transmitted through close contact with someone who already is contaminated or uh, you have access to contaminated materials or infected animals. Well, Associate Professor at uh, the Noguchi Memorial Institute for Medical Research, Professor uh, Joseph Boni, has been explaining further. Monkeypox, we have got two main clades, or let's say variants. We have the West African variant, and we have the Central African variant. And you have these two variants because they actually are viruses that can be found in these two regions. They saw it from monkeys at first. But uh, evidence has shown that we have these squirrels. Uh, most of them are some of the reservoirs. You see, if you say reservoirs, that means those animals can have the virus in them. And when you get so close to them, you can get that animal, uh, that virus from this animal into you. And once it gets into the human being, then it becomes easy for human-to-human -human transmission once the, one, one, the person is infected. Personal hygiene and make sure that you don't get to handle these exotic animals, especially if you don't know them. If you are keeping them as pets, you have to be very careful. Uh, not so getting so close to them and handling them in a way that they can easily get any uh, viruses in them into you.